Hi. Uh, let's today talk about uh, a situation that uh, you know better than uh, my generation that India is celebrating its uh, demographic dividend. But one thing which you are feeling about this demographic dividend that you are born at a time when the competition is at its peak, very high competition for anything you're doing, any exam that you're taking, there's a lot of competition that we have got. And you understand the reason why we have got. We haven't had that many young population aspiring to contribute to this beautiful country, India. And there is bound to be a case of competition fatigue, performance fatigue, and sadly sometimes it leads to the case of burnout. Burnout is like a prolonged uh, situation, which is uh, where the, the competition fatigue sets in and a person becomes a little difficult to, uh, a person becomes a little, uh, uh, I would say, unnerved to handle the situation. And the mental exhaustion may just set in. But don't think that it is something which is only affecting your generation. It has not been there in the past. It is with all of us. It is ubiquitous. We all feel this. But sometimes it is uh, episodical. It happens and then goes away. And sometimes it, 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 it prolongs. And then uh, this exhaustion actually turns into burnout. If you are, if, if you are, which I understand most of you are, you are type A personality who is like... Uh, uh, action oriented, who is like uh, competitive, fast paced, impatient, wants to achieve more in life, which most of uh, uh, you who are watching this video are, you're more vulnerable of this competition fatigue, performance fatigue. And that's something which is what I like you to be careful. But let's not just uh, talk about the size of the population which is causing it. There are many, many reasons that can be identified for it. I'm sharing all this based on my own experience in this area. I think if you are uh, too much uh, uh, having at a stake, I mean, you think that you connect with the topic too much. If you're one person who believes in perfection, you want everything has to be 100%, you have uh, probably uh, uh, no audit of your performance that you're having. And you're one person who is like uh, uh, having too much at stake, I would say, and then maybe sometimes the health reasons also could be a factor which is there. And you have aimed at a target which is beyond your capacity. I think support system, ecosystem factors also sometimes contribute towards this burnout cases. Whatever. I mean, uh, there cannot be one single reason which can possibly include all of them. But then it happens most often, gradually, one has to be really very alert and careful about if there is some sign of burnout happening or not. And if there is some sign actually there, I, 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 I'm not a psychologist, but then I, uh, I'm, I'm speaking from my experience of if I see some, uh, if you see some kind of you feeling drained, you are kind of uh, one person who is not happy about what you're doing. You feel like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in this situation and then you feel over exhausted, restless, lack of sleep. You have got to, you are avoiding your responsibility and you don't enjoy what you're doing. There's a lack of pride. And in short, I can say that you may be cynical, but broadly, if I can say you feel overwhelmed, this could be some sign of burnout, early sign of burnout. You have to, you have to watch them in time and then have them addressed. There could be many things that you can possibly suggest uh, for attending. Uh, you can be suggested for attending this uh, situation. I think one thing which I can identify is that uh, uh, use the, uh, the nature's uh, antidote. I mean, that's social contact. When I say social contact, I don't mean WhatsApp messages and Facebook. The physical social contact that you have with the family, the friends and the, and the well-wishers around you. I think that is one thing which I would like you to really use it in this situation. Also, use those stress management techniques. Identify what is happening, why it is happening. 
Meditation is a very good tool. Healthy lifestyle is this very important. But then if you ask me, uh, I would say that taking a break that really helps. It, 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 can be, it can be a few days off from your study, doesn't really matter. I think take some break also at times. Also, um, identify your own sweet spots that you have, like something which pleases you. Let's say, for example, your hobby, helping others voluntarily, making somebody happy because of you is a very, very positive thing. If you could possibly identify that somewhere when you can see that my help to somebody has uh, met that person's day, I think that's a very healthy thing. A healthy lifestyle, I, I told you already, meditation, sleeping, good uh, food. Also, you can imagine also uh, motivational trips help. But then I have a, a caution here. Overdose of motivational trips actually are counterproductive. So you have to be moderated and take it uh, to the extent that you really, really can afford. Also, time boxing helps. Time boxing, like you allocate time for certain tasks and don't let that exceed beyond a particular level. Also, I would say that, uh, and that to me, it is probably the most important, accept yourself. I mean, most of the time when we don't accept ourselves in our whole range of existence, what I mean by whole range of existence is that, I mean, your failures, mistakes, or whatever problems that you have got, you accept yourself 100%. You don't have an option. And if you accept yourself 100%, I think there is a lesser chances that you would be a case of burnout. But if at all you have noted some of those signs that I just mentioned to you, reset your system and then start again. But one thing for sure, if the situation is really serious, you have to attend it uh, with some professional help because you can't imagine putting a bandaid on a fractured bone. And I'm sure you understand that. All right, my, my best wishes would always be there with you. And I'm sure uh, this fatigue of uh, performance fatigue or competition fatigue or the burnout doesn't touch you. My best wishes again.